Captain Bill and I had decided to stay an extra day just to hang out on the island and explore. Some of our crew flew out early this morning, but that didn't stop us from doing a little land-based exploring. We found out from one of the guys at camp about a small stream nearby that had some salmon in it and clear water so you could see them, and we figured we'd go and check it out. We're putting together a couple spinning rods, and we're going to walk down to this creek that uh, one of the guys at the lodge tipped us off to, or tipped Dave off two years ago. It's supposed to be full of a couple different types of salmon, I guess. Pink salmon and sockeye. Pink salmon and uh, chums. Chums, chum salmon. So yeah, we're gonna fish, um, we're gonna throw these little spinning rods around and see if we can catch a couple. Um, show you guys, you know, maybe a little different, uh, different variety of salmon. And these are in fresh water, mm -hmm. instead of salt water, they come up to spawn. So uh, yeah, we're going to give it a shot. Like, there's not a soul around. We're like completely on our own. Like, if this was a spot like in South Florida, there'd be 15,000 people fishing. <laughs> it's so like remote, beautiful. If I didn't think I was doing a shot, <laughs> fishing this way. They even tell you where to fish. It's amazing. <laughs> The stream was small, but absolutely loaded with hundreds of salmon, uh, pinks, chums, and an occasional king. Got a male pink salmon, probably been in the river about a week. Still got some pretty vibrant color on him, really. It's got a nice hooked mouth there, it's got some teeth. And I guess that hooked mouth is for helping dig up some gravel. Okay. Yeah, also there's spikes in the Territory fighting, turf wars. Nice fish. Another male pink salmon. He looks like he's been in the river for about a week or so. Doing his thing. He's on his last leg of his life. He's in here spawning, fertilizing the eggs. Um, this, this little stream is absolutely packed with these. I mean, you could almost walk across them. These fish had been in the river for a while, and uh, salmon change from the bright silver types of fish that you catch offshore in salt water. When they get into the river, they change colors, and they change shapes. Their heads become pronounced, they get darker, and they get meaner looking, and we were witnessing that in multiple stages. This is a female pink salmon. Notice there's no hump like the males. This one's probably only been in the river for a week or so. It's a gorgeous fish, very powerful. Yeah, I mean, it's just like so decomposed. It's hard to believe that thing can still like swim at all. It's crazy. It's like I've only seen it on TV, you know? Uh, doubled up. So right now I have no idea what I have here, but it seems to be good size. It's a little dark though. Yeah, it's this, one, this one's towards the end of the right side right here. Wow. Is it? This is a female king salmon. See? Probably about, she's jumping eggs. Probably about 15 pounds. 
10 to 15. So I gotta get it back in the river. It's one of those sorts of things that you usually only see on TV. You normally can't just walk over to a place and look at it right in front of your feet. Hey, what's up, SA Nation? This is the single salmon egg challenge, literally right out of the salmon as we speak. Delicious. I'm gonna say we've caught at least a dozen. I mean, it's been just absolutely steady since we got here. I mean, this, this river is just loaded, loaded with these spawning salmon. Ooh, you're in the rocks, dude. You might have to go to them. You might have to go that way. This is like probably number 12 or 13, just one after another, as fast as we can go. All right, we pretty much cleaned up on the salmon here. It was one after another. The river is full, full of spawning fish. We released them all, and actually we saw some of the dead salmon along the banks had been eaten by bears. I've seen the revenant, so I don't want to end up like him back here getting eaten by a bear. So we're gonna go ahead and head for higher ground, go to town for a little while and check it out. We figured we were on borrowed time, and it was probably a good time to uh, walk out of the creek and uh, go back into town. So we came up out of the stream to uh, walk down to the access point to get back to the vehicle. We also had a bear encounter, which scared me to death. Holy crap. <laughs> 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 oh, man, just the time. Bill LaPree said the immortal lines, oh shit, it's a bear. Oh my God, it's a bear. <laughs> like right there. <laughs> So as the trip was coming to an end, we did a little exploring in town today and uh, checked out some really great shops and had a really cool afternoon in Sitka. They're out there. We've confirmed they are out there. All right, let's rip open this bag. This is a product test. All right, let's, let's see here. Salmon jerky, we don't get this in Florida. Really good. My blood pressure just went up like 40 points with that one bite. It's got a lot of salt in it. Yeah, this is uh, this is stealth goo can approve. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet actually might catch on fire if you put those on. It's like fox fur, maybe. Oh. I mean, super comfy. How would we look in that vest? What is that, mink? Probably. Pink or fox, I'm not really an expert on furs. We should go in and try I think we should things go, on. I think we should go inside. What does something like this run? Um, well, it's end of season. We normally sell them. I mean, it's like a $20,000 blanket. Okay. So we're selling them now for around $7,000. Imagine how long how long it would take to like take all of those and like one by one go down? I mean, when you got Faberge eggs. I mean, look so how small you... look how small the last one is. I mean, you can't even see it. I mean, that's not a. I mean, that's, that's kind of a mean game. Yeah. I mean, if you ask me, it's like kind of torture. Looking back, this experience was just awesome. You couldn't do what we did here anywhere else in the world. Fishing up here is what you make it. You get to see whales and all the, the wildlife right next to the boat. And we do fill freezers, but that's not what it's about. It's about bringing friends and family together here in this beautiful country up here. Family fishing trips is what we do. It's a great family activity. My parents taught me how to fish from the time I was really young. And it's such a great family activity. I highly encourage it. This has been an amazing experience, and I highly recommend you give this a try. You won't have another family activity like it.
ever. She taught me how to fish and she's been supporting my fishing <laughs> since I was a kid. She used to drop me off at a pier near Seattle when she went to work on Fridays in the summer and I'd fish all day and she'd come pick me up. It was great. We're pretty serious about fishing and grandma kind of led the way with that and she brought my mom to Alaska many times and I got to go once when I was 13 and I was hooked. I'll never forget it. Best trip of my life. So it's not all about filling the freezer, but that's nice. It's about spending time with my mom, getting out here on what might be her last trip to Alaska, and having a great time with my friends. I don't have any family with me, but um, I'm happy to spend this time uh, with my new friends, and I will be happy to share this with uh, my friends and uh, with the world. And uh, it's an amazing experience, and I'm very thankful for this opportunity which brought us all together and let us enjoy this five days of fishing. We want to thank SA Company for sponsoring the trip and providing us with gear that was just super flexible under any conditions. We could shed layers if it was warmer. We could add layers when it was colder. We were wearing them under our slickers, and it was just great to have such high-quality, comfortable clothing. And I want to thank SA Company for their uh, generous gifts of, of this shirt, this hoodie, and the sunglasses. They're fantastic really easy on the eyes and didn't even notice they were there, but it really cuts the glare. Kept us warm, kept us dry. I'm very impressed with their product line. Thank you for watching this week's episode of SATV. We hope this encourages you to get off the couch and get on the water. Stay tuned for more action-packed outdoor adventures.